happy Saturday to you. Well, take a look at this car. Now you've seen it before. I had it uh, done some time ago, but I never had it done like this. I spent the last couple days working on it to make it the most elaborately done uh, model <laughs> that I've ever put together for a set of course. So take a look at them big black headers and the new springs, the single axle front end and the transmission and the wheel woods and the real headers that come out of the engine and into the headers themselves and the glass hood and the cool blue um, interior lights and real beautiful clear glass and lights that work it's amazing I thought they did they're supposed to be working hang on a minute let me take a peek at Rooney yeah they're working now you just got them so uh, light that you would hardly see it. But if you look back here, we have real springs, real shock absorbers, a real uh, ass end to the car, axles that actually go through where they belong. I see a squonky left one of the ha hangers broke, but being sweating it, even though he does a good job. We got real traction bars that actually work this time. And as I said, a full transmission in... Um, this car is amazing. Now take a look at this um, 427. As I know, it's supposed to be a 396, but this got a little bit of an upgrade. Chrome <laughs> valve covers for the first time. It's something I really wanted to do. I had to eat away at all of the engine except the parts that I wanted to chrome and then save them. Like these little things got saved as chrome. Uh, that probably could have been done a little better uh, the linkage got done is chrome it's this come out really nice but I had a problem last night oh yesterday I was taking it out for a drive and I thought wow look, even this dipstick is chrome um, let's enjoy this car well I enjoyed it till I got on the road and found out that my hands are missing no what the fuck well that's not that's still gloves problem see this black trim well it used to be chrome but as I'm driving down the road I'm looking at the road through the chrome oh how the fuck yeah well that was quite a job to uh, figure out I even got a hold of Uncle M but I haven't checked uh, my email or not even well I could have checked email but he, uh, Facebook and there was no I, have, I haven't got to it yet because guess what guys the other day when I was going to make a really cool video teaching you how to do some amazing stuff, I moved my left hand and knocked an entire cup of coffee inside my MacBook Pro. It went right through the keyboard, saturated the entire computer, over $2,000, uh, and amazingly enough, it never stopped running. It just kept running. It didn't quit, didn't sizz. I freaked the, I freaked out, big big fold, about as big as I could freak. I freaked. Uh, called Apple, they made an appointment in the city of Syracuse for me, so I had a hike. And uh, I was so freaked out. I thought I was supposed to be there at 11:45, but it was a 10:45 appointment, and I got there at 10:44 because I was again, I, I just uh, livid. I couldn't believe what happened. Um, it had no audio when I left the house, but by the time I got there, the audio was working. And they took it apart and looked in, and yeah, there was still coffee and milk and honey uh, inside there. And they said, well, you know, you need to get the battery replaced anyway because it's on recall. It could explode and to probably take out your house. That's real nice. But we can't touch it because it's got liquid in there and we might get electrocuted, so we don't monkey with it. But we can send it out for you and, and we'll get it all refurbished for $1,400. Oh man, are you serious? So, needless to say, guys, I had been doing some praying. In fact, on the way there, I stopped at the post office and I, I was just babbling like an idiot. 
And I happen to mention that that happened. The coffee went in the in the keyboard, and this guy pipes up. He goes, "Dude, you don't need prayer. You need a miracle." I said, "I'll take one. That'd be fine. Let's do a miracle. I can. I'm God's good at miracles. Let's do a miracle. I could. I could use a miracle." Okay. Well, you know what? Praise God. I think I got the miracle because I come home, and it's still working. It's working. Praise God. It's working. But uh, this is going to be the first video that you're watching with a coffee inside my computer. But I did run it long enough the other day that I think it dried out quite a bit of it. And if it really dries out good, they'll replace the battery for no cost, thank God. But um, what do you think of this car? That thing's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me show you the other one I've been working on. Now this is just kind of a short, uh, happy to talk to you video because um, I'm not I just want to see if the thing is it, if I can get a video out that would be that would be really cool if I could actually put out a video so I'm gonna certainly try um, dude I, I'm sorry I can't do everything at once I do try often to my own demise but I do try hang on I want to get just the right that's the one I wanted that's the one I want. Now I want you to take a peek rooney at this. And the lights are on too, praise God. Okay, how do you like this puppy? I'm telling you right now, you'll be gonna be hard pressed to find cars as nice as this anywhere. Now you could make them yourself. If you pay attention uh, to the videos and learn how to do it your own self, you can do them too. But it's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to take effort, and it's going to take perseverance. But you can do it. You can make beautiful cars just like these. I'm learning all the time. This, oh, Nelly. See, this one I would have liked to have had the uh, valve covers, but I didn't know how to. I, I had and I, I knew how to do it. It was just so much work I didn't want to monkey with it. But uh, what do you think, guys? You like the way this is cut better? This has got too much hood, maybe? Well, I didn't want to fire it around because I don't want to be looking down at the tops of the wheels. So I did it that way. It can always be nipped a little more if I if I choose to. But they, they're really coming along. As Single Racer said some time ago, he goes, you're, you're making some pretty good progress. Do you think you can get better than you are? Said, I'm just going to keep trying and... And we're just going to get as far as we can now. It looks like I've got to extend the shock a little higher, which I'll do that. But this is the kind of stuff you do when you look at it over again, is you you, you evaluate what needs to happen and, and then go right after it. But I do have them touching them in the right spot. They're, I mean, they'll work. And a neat thing about the way this is, since you can see so much of it that you usually can't, is when you set up the car, you can find out exactly where that axle sets on top of here. So you could you could really get a nice setup. I, I think the headers look frickin' awesome. And don't even begin to think that was easy. That took quite a bit of work, I'll tell you right now. But it's certainly worth it. Now let me get rid of that other car. So we go back to a happy camera. Yeah, they both have to come up just a little bit. The shock towers aren't really touching on anything. But we'll. They, I just put them in, so bear with me. We will get it, but praise God, we can go down the road and not see the freaking highway now, and I'll show you how that is right now. So come on, let's just have some fun. We are, we do have 17,695 horse. Let's see if that's accurate. I think everything is accurate. Yeah, it is. So we got a, a really nice power and torque curve. It's a, it's nice. It is a good, good unit. I mean, right up to 10 grand, we got some good torque. It falls off after that, but we got power, good power. Let's do it. As I say, this is going to be a short video. It's really not going to take any longer than just a quick little drive, and we're not going to look at, at it back. We're just going to do it one time, and uh, I'll take this in and, and try to make a video out of it. If, if it works, you'll be seeing it. If it don't, I'll be bumming. <laughs> but... Let's hope for the best. We're on LA Canyons, the new one, uh, Angeles Crest, eastbound. 
So, we're going to give it a go. It's a whopping one degrees outside, so it is ripping cold. That little, that big wood stove in the cellar is keeping the, the cold at bay. Um, but I don't have much time, and i got to get down and put some more wood in there. Pretty soon, start working on the fuel oil furnace again. Just got to get that gasket in there properly this time. Have a friend of mine come over with a welder and get those bolts that are broken out of there and new ones in. So it's being held by eight bolts rather than five. You know, when things are old, you, you try your best to get them to uh, come loose and snap. You, oh, shit happens. Okay, let's uh, see right to the center of the hub. Watch this thing. Boop. Just like that. Instantaneous. What a sweetie heart, huh? See how pretty that is? Let's take a little ride through the city. Better mind my speed. I don't want any problems. It's starting to look a lot like Grand Theft Auto, isn't it? I mean, considering that None of us have the kind of money they've got to throw at uh, graphics and what have you. This is still pretty cool. I, I think it's super cool. Just take a little walk around here. Sounds good though, doesn't it guys? It's what, yeah, 10% turbo. Now, Michael, I don't know. I don't see how you could not be able to drive this one, turbo or not. I mean, I really, I'm pushing it down, and it's not, not a lot happening. You've got to really get it up into the uh, 30 to 70% range for this to really start flipping out. Not to, uh, what were you saying? Pile it up. That's what I was going to try not to do. I don't know why. Certain curves I just have to do them a bunch of times before I get the hang of it. I, you would think that you would just a simple little arc just like this. And it would steer beautiful. And the car does handle nice. A little hoppy. It hops because of the stiff suspension. But you would expect that. This is not a race car. I mean, it looks like one. It's, it's you know, stoplight to stoplight. This is not burn your ass through the canyons at 160 miles an hour. Would expect to live and tell about it. It's just not designed for that. It's more, you know, taking your buddies out to a drive-in movie and uh, have a few laughs. Maybe take your girlfriend to a, to a dance or some shit. Ah, shit, I'm going to 100%. Fuck it. Let's find out what this got. Yeah, it's got it. It's got it. Yeah, I got to fix that. I got it set too low. Yeah, 
says it'll move. I don't know if it'll handle, but it'll move. Look at that hood, though. That, that is pretty neat, don't you think? Oh, oh I was all closey. All right, we got to try a donut, fuck it. You know, guys, uh, aside from realism, what I'm trying to do is, is develop uh, cars for a subtle course that, are, that, are, that if you want to do something with the vehicle, it'll do it. I mean, just like in real life. What the fuck? What's, what's wrong with my window? Oh, nothing. Why in the mirror does it look fucked up? Oh, there's... What the fuck's wrong with it? Oh, it must be the... It must be a setting. In, a, in the content manager, I just put everything back to absolute zero. Cause I haven't fucked with the glass. Wait a minute, let me get outside and see what the fuck's going on here. I might as well pull over here though. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Wait, hang on, don't flip out. It's only glass. Fuck it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's gotta be. You, it, uh, a setting that ain't set right. Because this thing is sweet. Those flames come out right, right where they're supposed to. You can't see them very well here. But, see, there's the top of the thing right there. That's where they both are. Great big ones. Right there, too. What a sweetie, huh? Fucking chrome. Remember back years ago, guys? Some of you older fellas that have been around the uh, the channel for a while. Back when I didn't know how to get chrome on the wheels, shit. Half the time they were black. Other times that they were all effed up. They looked horrible. But you know, you guys stuck with me through thick and thin. I didn't know what the hell was going on. It is still fucked up. It's perfectly fine, though. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna fix it, but I don't know why I'm gonna worry about it right now. But anyway, I, it, nobody knows what they don't know. I mean, it's, it takes, you have to know something to know it. And if you don't know it, it's just simply there's nothing on that shelf. There could be something on that shelf, there should be something on that shelf, but there's nothing there. So, that's the deal. I, I imagine that as, as time progresses, I'm hoping and praying that I'm going to learn how to do the animations as well. Get the doors open, get the wipers going. <coughs> One thing at a time. I can't. I can only learn at the pace I can go. But I'll tell you one thing, guys. I'm putting my time in. Big hours every week. It's almost like going to university, but I've unfortunately got no nobody but trial and error. And the, well, I got the dear Lord helping me, so praise God, I guess I got the best teacher I could have. At least the most patient. But it is, uh, I guess that's the best way to learn anyway, is just hands-on and uh, so I am learning it. But the pisser about learning things like that is if you get away from it, it's gone. It's like push-ups. You look great as long as you're doing 100 push-ups a day, but as soon as you start hitting the beer and forget about the push-ups, you go right back to the couch potato. And uh, it's amazing how fast shit goes the wrong direction. And how hard it is to get it going in the right direction. That's the best, ain't it? Yeah, so you can't drive this car and race it. It's not meant for that. I, we could take it to the drag strip sometime, not today. I, I just want to get a little farther down the road and then we'll call it a day. As a matter of fact, we're going to call it a day right here. I don't want to go over the edge, but we're going to call it a day right here. 
and I did say we weren't going to watch it back, but wouldn't you like to see the car go down the road? Uh, tell me, that that is a really pretty car. And I'm not using any anti-aliasing uh, at all as far as uh, MSAA or FXA or whatever the fuck it is. This is uh, just stock balls to the walls the way it is. Let's just take a real quick peek at it and we'll call it a day. How's that? Man, look at this thing. Now watch it when it goes to set up. I do have to bring the back wheels in just a little bit. But that has to be set up in the uh, suspension I and I. See, a, cor a set of course it reads it from two places: the CAN five, which is the physical uh, attributes of the car, and then the whatever folders are necessary. Now, I don't know if this has replay cameras or not. We're about to find out. Oh, that's a little bit of a weird thing. It's an out of focus stuttering or some shit. I don't know what that's all about. I have to go to camera five. Good shiny paint though. Nice chrome headers. Didn't have shit for front suspension. It does now. Didn't have shit for back suspension, but it does now. Without the blur, you actually see the, the spokes going around. A lot like it would be in real life. What a beautiful car. And not because I did it. I mean, Chevrolet came up with this Uncle M. This is an Uncle M car. So I'll tell you what, guys, give a big shout out to Uncle M. If you're not a, a, a subscriber, has, get your ass over to his YouTube channel, man. Make his day. That, that guy is a nice, 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 nice guy. And um, he's, he's one of the people who really has uh, reached out a hand to me over the years. And in spite of me making these contraptions out of his uh, beautiful mods, He's pretty cool with it. Yeah, these wheels got to go in, but they, they got loads of room. Where's the mouse? There he is. We got room. We'll bring them in. It's just about gonna be just about right. We got room. None of the wheels fell off though, did they? Thank God. Now we probably have some cameras. You hear that noise it made when I switched the camera? Doing videos every single time that happens. I have to cut the, the roll of film and uh, decrease the sound as it goes to that, that high clipping part so you don't have to hear that in the videos. And that can be a real pisser. Well, it's just time consuming. Okay, we do need the anti-aliasing. It's not very shiny. Nice car though, don't you think guys? nice. It sits good. Michael didn't used to like the uh, front wheels that were so skinny. He didn't understand why Americans would do such a thing to their car. So these are really not like that. Yeah, it goes good. It goes good. But you would definitely kill yourself trying to go through these canyon roads fast. Now back in 1980, I was 25 years old. 
December 1st of that year, my mother died, and I ended up living in California at uh, my uh, my brother's. Uh... Hang on. Let's see, she hops. Oh. At my brother's uh, body shop. He had a body shop. He worked, did some beautiful cars. All right, enough. I ended up out there, and I had a, a 1972 and a half Z28, uh, not Z28, uh, Z1 Kawasaki, 903. Really nice bike. And I took that bike on roads in California like this. It was not too far from Monterey, the roads that I was on. And it looks just like this. The deal is, though, there's no guardrails. Oh, yeah, whatever. There's no guardrails. You could definitely go to your demise real quick on those treacherous highways. Um, so there we are, guys. There we are. Look at that puppy. Isn't that cool? That's a sharp car. Look at that, even under the glass. That is a friggin' sharp car. Strange paint job, but nevertheless, fucking sweetheart, isn't it? That thing is a sweetheart. Now it's got just the tiniest few things, and it's it's done. Look at that. When you light that up, you know what I want to happen. I want to light the 396 up also, but what I have to do is I have to separate that physically, that one little thing, 396, from all the other uh, chrome strips, save it on its own and name it a different thing, and, and uh, it'll light up. But that would be it. That, that would be enough. That's a sweetie heart, boy. There's a fellow that lives down the road not too far away who has one of these. It's black, 427. And, oh, fucking nice car. Nice. I just love the looks of them, the lines of them. They're just beautiful. I think it is, at least. If I would ever have a Chevelle, I think this is the... No, I can tell you exactly. This is exactly what I would want. I don't know. I'm getting up in ears. But, uh, well, guys, that's all she wrote. I hope uh, the video goes up and you have a good weekend. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye now.